Hi guys, it's Christian from Base again here, back with this week's top three buy-to-let landlord investment picks in London um, on Zoopla. So starting off, our first property is, uh, our first category is under 500,000 and this property on the market with the awesome location location um, caught my eye pretty much instantly. So two bedroom upper floor maisonette, so first and second floors, offers over 385. Now obviously there is scope on what that's going to end up being, but semi-detached property, really beautiful little period site. Um, now a couple of things to flag, lease, there's only 89 years left on the lease, um, so definitely inquire about lease extensions. Um, once your lease passes, goes under 80 years, it can be quite difficult to secure a mortgage. Um, so you really want to explore either extending the lease as part of the purchase process or just establishing exactly what the gearing and mechanism is to facilitate that if you want to do that after you buy. Um, just bring up the floor plan. So yeah, first and second floor. The flat itself is about 660 square foot, so not huge. Um, but well laid out, two double bedrooms, one bathroom and an open plan kitchen reception. Location wise, sort of, uh, yeah, not far from Stoke Newington um, and Clapton, sort of between the two, pretty much exactly equidistant between Stoke Newington and Clapton, half a mile from each. Um, and then if we just scroll through the photos, um, skin and bones of the property looks fine. So you've got... Um, yeah, you've got this upper floor extension. This is the open plan kitchen living room. Um, looks all perfectly fine. Um, bedrooms, I mean, it's by the look of it tenanted at the moment, bedrooms are quite cluttered, not showing well, but shows what a good size bedroom this is because it looks like they've got a futon sofa bed, big chest of drawers and a double bed and two clothes rails, and that is still workable. So I'm guessing that's the larger of the two bedrooms. Um, and then second bedroom doesn't look like, oh, well, that was before was it, I think, empty. <laughs> yeah, that's the room empty. And that's the room as it is now with a heck of a lot of stuff in it. Um, so again, I think there's an argument for a little bit of upspecking here. With this room, I would be tempted to use this alcove to do some really nice fitted built-in wardrobes just to keep the space nice and clean. So you just have a double bed and some bedside tables and maybe a chest of drawers along here. Um, when maximizing rate, rent, I genuinely think, you know, those first impressions, solving those problems, making the space work, making it practical, enabling agents to have, sorry, tenants to have a nice clean living space. Um, that's what's going to get you the premium. That's what's going to get you uh, the difference between a normal market rent and premium rents. Um, so just bear that in mind. Again, likewise with the first main bedroom we were looking at, I'd be looking at probably putting some built-in wardrobes up this end um, just to make a slightly more formal space. Um, the bathroom in here is fine, um, but again, I feel it's a little bit basic. So if your budget allows, I would go in here and make this a bit more luxury. Um, you don't have to spend silly money, you can just go to B&Q and get some pretty decent um, standard fittings, but a good colour scheme, some nice tiles can transform this space and make it feel like quite a luxurious little space. Again, kitchen generally looks fine, it's hard to know exactly what that kitchen looks like but um, without seeing it up close, but it looks like it's an electric oven and hob and your various bits and pieces. I would make sure there is a dishwasher in there, um, which I think there might be in here, um, and room for a washing machine or washer dryer. These are the sort of big box ticks um, that people want. There's already some built-in storage here in the living room. These are the kind of things that just really work, just, just making the practicality of the property really fit. But I mean, what a beautiful property to walk up to. And at 385 for a two bed, it's an absolute steal. So if you like the look of that, Get on the phone to the guys at location to location today. I know them. They don't muck around. This property is not going to be on the books for long. So if you're interested in this, you need to get in touch with them quickly. Moving on to our second property. Um, so this is in the under 750 uh, price bracket. Um, and this is a two bed loft uh, in E1 on the market with Axe and McLeod and their old gate office. Um, really great to see a original warehouse style building big crittle windows, lots of red brick. Um, scrolling down through here, a couple of really nice noticeable bits. Share a freehold, no worrying about lease. 
service charge is £1,200 per year, cheap. For London, that is cheap. Um, so that's good. Just make sure what that covers. Um, if we quickly scroll through the photos, nice space, high ceilings, the kind of things you expect from a loft or warehouse style building. Plenty of brick, brick pillars, nice high ceilings, big crittle windows with natural light, um, solid wood floors. Um, could maybe just need with a little bit of a zhuzh and a little bit of an upspec. Like you can see in the corner here, you've got the boiler, but it's not boxed in. I would probably be inclined to box that in and maybe box that whole wall out to create, again, some really nice storage features in there. Um, I'd also be inclined, that is quite a small kitchen for a two bed flat. I'd be inclined to explore up specking that and just sort of doing a bit more with that. Um, this washing machine seems a bit random, kind of almost sat in the middle of the floor um, because you've got this brick section coming out. So it feels to me like a few bits could be done just to make this feel this property feel a little bit more finessed, a little bit more upmarket. But the skin and bones is there, and those are the important things. Bedrooms decent sizes high ceiling height you've got some exposed steel work in here again i don't feel like the current landlord is going anywhere near um, what they need to do to be making the most of this space um, do look at things like radiators in rooms as well do consider relocating them or even putting them on the floor they take up a lot of wall space and can make the difference between a really good viable practical bedroom and one that struggles but again this looks like a decent size but this sort of higgledy piggledy furniture is not doing these don't really do these landlords any favours. Bikes, classic example. Really, um, you know, bikes are going to be very common. Um, I'd be inclined to be doing something in the living space. Um, maybe some wall-mounted brackets for the bikes to be mounted on. Um, just something so that you haven't got people storing bikes in their bedrooms. And again, other bedroom, all looks good. But again, funny located radiator. I'd be looking at relocating that. I'd definitely be looking at pretty much upgrading all the furniture in this place. It all looks a little bit slapdash and cheap and tired. Bathroom generally looks fine. I don't think it looks anything mind-blowingly special, um, but it works. It looks like a blend of sort of beige stone effect tiles and mosaics. Um, yeah, it looks fine. Again, I would be inclined to up-spec this a little bit. Um, maybe a slightly more stylish and modern toilet, a new shower screen, and I definitely, personally myself, would be looking at um, replacing some of this tiling just to bring it a bit more current, a bit more on point. Um, but if you dress those things, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd expect that property to be hitting around the twenty-five hundred per month mark. Um, well located, easy into the city, all gate east. Our agency handles a lot of rental property in the E1 area um, and that varies from I would say probably our cheapest property in the area sits around 1400 a month and our most expensive property is about five grand a month and that is a beautiful Edwardian house um, that's been extensively refurbished we've got a couple of penthouses so don't go assuming that E1 all Whitechapel uh, Shadwell it's a cheap market low rents um, not the case uh, there is lots of beautiful property in this area and lots of people willing to pay the price to be close to the city the nice thing that you want it's easy into the city it's also easy to hop out to canary wharf they're working the buying king financial sector they might well need to be bouncing between the two it's really easy to drop into good transport links you've now got the crossrail links in the area yeah, and then just up here, you've got Spitalfields, Brick Lane, and off up to Shoreditch, but without paying that premium. Um, it's a chain-free property, um, so it sounds like that one is pretty much ready to go. Um, so yeah, so that's another one. If you like the look of that, get in touch with Axon McLeod in Oldgate, and uh, yeah, get in there to have a look. And last but not least, in our 750 to million pound bracket, this one sneaks in right at the bottom, 750k. Um, it's quite unusual but striking building um, on uh, where's, on Great Suffolk Street in SE1. Now location wise, great little spot, close to Borough Tube Station. I mean this area is absolutely buzzing, lots of things going on around there socially to do, very desirable place to live. Um, this is a ground and lower ground floor unit. Now a couple of things to point out, lease. 
big tick in the box. Uh, it's what we call virtual freehold in the industry. It was originally a 999 year lease, so 996. So nice long lease on there. Um, however, one thing to flag, service charges £4,700 per year. That sounds a bit punchy to me for a property that from the description, I can't see any facilities in there like a concierge or caretaker, um, car park, um, gym, anything like that. I would expect at least one of those things to probably be in the building for that. So I would just be querying with Hamptons a little bit more information about what what you get for that money. What is that service charge paying? Um, but if we open up the floor plan, now interesting property. So you've got the ground floor unit. Um, as well, good thing to point, triple glazed throughout. So super energy efficient, but also incredibly quiet. And it's really important for a central London property. So I kind of look at this property like two spaces. So it's being marketed as a three bed. Personally, I don't agree because um, importantly, it has a basement space, which doesn't really have any windows. And in my eyes, that determines that it isn't a bedroom, um, but it's over 300 square foot. So. You know, it's the size of some studio flats out there. So very, very decent space. So on the ground floor, you've got really what I would consider a pretty standard two bed flat in terms of 860 square foot. So fractionally above the average, you've got two double bedrooms, a bathroom and a shower room, open plan kitchen reception with a kind of galley style kitchen going into this um, in that area so you kind of got that which is a traditional space and then you've got this space downstairs now that can be a host of things you know that could be to run a business if someone does studio work photography anything like that if they are like a personal trainer uh, or physiotherapist massage therapist anything like that they've got a really good space there to set out and use for that or you know maybe they are a tv and gaming buff and actually that would make the most amazing like home tv auditorium game playing space whatever but i think more practically um looking for people who want their own on-site studio space whether they're like i said artists designers creative photographers pts uh physiotherapists whatever that lends itself to it very nicely and if we scroll through the photos quickly you know perfect decent space looks like it's got electric panel heaters um, interesting galley style kitchen, but quite nicely done with all the chrome and stainless steel. Decent sized living space, L shaped sofas, decent sized double bedrooms, and here is that um, basement space. So there is a light well at the end. So you do have light coming down to it, but very limited. Okay, and that's why really I don't feel this can be called a bedroom, but exactly what these people have this set up as a bit of an all all serving space it looks like they do work from home plus they've got their little home gym peloton set up they've got their golf club stored in the back they've got so they've probably got a tv up here um for a bit of quiet watching away from the main space um so yeah a lot going for it on that one difficult to put a figure on this one for rent um, because it's hard to assign really a value for that downstairs but i think you're comfortably looking at at least three grand a month um, and I think if you find the right people with those specific requirements, you could be pushing that further um, because you're basically providing a live workspace. Um, and then that that adds serious value because now they don't have to be going off and having a separate commercial lease with rents and business rates and, and all the bill costings that come with that. Um, so yeah, work from home or, or people who do sort of one-to-one -one stuff uh, or an established artist. You know, all of these seem like a really obvious tick in the box for me. So that's our three properties this week. Uh, if you do want to discuss those in any more detail, do get in touch. If you've got a property that you're looking at in the London property market and you just want to get our 10 pence worth on what we think of the skin and bones, what we think roughly you should be getting in rent, what we think are the best things to do to that property to make it as appealing as possible to tenants and therefore drive up demand, reduce voids, maximize rental income. Get in touch, have a chat. We're more than happy to share our thoughts and ideas without you having to engage us as an agent. And of course, if you are looking for lettings and management, and particularly if you really want a full service, high quality service, then, then you know do reach out to base. 
Uh, that is our speciality, We're one of the most award-winning independent letting agents in the country. Um, so yeah, get in touch. Thanks for your time. Uh, enjoy. And if you like any of those, contact the agents quickly before they're gone. Thanks, guys.